Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting on what should be a very fun backpacking trip. Um, we're going out the Necklace Valley Trail, which is uh, up near like Monroe, Stevens Pass, Washington. So uh, that should be, it, it should be a really fun trip. But as you can see, there are some dark clouds in the sky. So we might need to make a few adjustments to our gear and then we should be on the road. Almost ready to go. On the road, and it's just started to rain too, so might be a wet one. Well, we've made it to the trailhead and we just need to get our boots on and get our packs on and we'll be hiking. Got our packs on and we're off. Up the Necklace Valley Trail. sun is peeking through the clouds. Look at that beautiful meadow just being lit up. That cliff is massive. Under the log, through the rocks. A little pond. There's probably a million mosquitoes. And a little drizzle is just starting. Thing's huge. Big tree. We are almost to the point where we start climbing up a lot, but still flat for now. This is the East Foss River really pretty. I packed this big roll these first five miles, so now it's time to enjoy it. Mm, mm, mm. This is delicious. Well, we've crossed the river and now we begin the steep climb up to the Necklace Valley.
So we've officially made it to Necklace Valley after a long three mile, uh, 2,600 foot elevation gain climb that took us a while. But look at this. This is Jade Lake. Very beautiful. We are leaving Jade Lake and we're gonna head on up and try and find a campsite at Emerald Lake. There's the little cabin up here. It's not very nice in here, but it's kinda cool. It was built 75 years ago, so. Well, this is a really cool creek, right down a slab of rock. So Emerald Lake, which is the lake that we were gonna camp at, is down through the trees over there. And we actually, there were no good spots there, so we found a good one up here, actually. Up the hill a little bit. Got these nice little water pools next to it. But here, it's right up here around the corner. I'll take you there. So first of all, you come across this little bridge to enter. A little bit sketchy, but. And then right up over here, we got a nice site. We got a spot for a tent. We'll go a long way right there. And then up over here, great area for like sitting and cooking. And we got a meadow with some little pools right out here. So yeah, this is where we're gonna, we're gonna set up camp and we're gonna make some dinner and that'll be it for the evening. So we set up the tent right here, nice flat spot. And then behind me, we got a tarp because it was raining a bit and it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. But we got our little setup in here. Got all our food, stove, got all the dishes up there. And yeah. Uh oh sorry. Kind of look like I have an afro. Got this bug net. But um this is our camp and we're going to go to bed pretty soon once we hang the bear bag and of course have some hot chocolate. Got the cocoa. Well, we're in the tent now and it's pretty cozy in here, but we are super tired, so it is time to go to bed. See you in the morning. Good morning. We got a good 10 hours of sleep last night. And yeah, feeling good this morning. Um, today, we're planning to hike up to Tank Lakes. And yeah, but first we need some breakfast and need to fully get up for the morning. So right now I'm going to get the bear bag. Food. So if you come over on this side of the pond, you can get a really good view of the campsite. We got the tent and just our eating area. That's right next to this beautiful pond. Big mountains behind us. Delicious strawberries and cream oatmeal for breakfast. Plus some hot chocolate, of course. And of course, to top it off, some Pop-Tarts. We packed up camp for the day, and now we're headed off on a day hike, and we're gonna go up to Tank Lakes. Should be pretty pretty, but right now there's some clouds, so we're hoping that clears off, but should be a fun hike.
So we've been hiking up this big rock field for a long time. We're getting actually pretty close to Tank Lakes, I think. But it's really cool barren landscape up here. And there's also like a ton of flowers. Pink and red there. Got a bunch of white, bunch of yellow. So we've been hiking through this rock field up here for a really long time. And we've seen like eight or nine pikas now, but they blend in too much to get it on the camera, but they're really cute and we've seen a lot. So beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a lot of flat grassy area down here if you wanted to camp, but it is so pretty. Oh, icy cold snow. We're leaving this side of the crest and we're going over. That looks amazing. We've made it up here to Tank Lake and it is amazing. On the other side, it just drops off into a valley and then there's those big mountains on the other side. But this is beautiful. We're having crackers and tuna for lunch with this amazing view. Finished lunch and now we're heading out over here to see if we can get a good view of this valley and all those big peaks. So we came out here just past Tank Lake. Uh, sorry for this tree, but this is the Snoqualmie Middle Fork Valley. Way up to Snoqualmie. And then that right there, that's Overcoat Peak. And way up there, there's a glacier. That's Overcoat Glacier. Then over here, we got Big Chief Mountain. And those are about 7,500 feet tall. So they're, they're big. And then you come up here and you can see this, and that's Bear's Breast Mountain, also very tall. And then back up in the clouds up there is Mount Daniel, which is the tallest mountain between Snoqualmie Pass and Stevens Pass. It's 8,000 feet. I've also uh, summited that. But yeah, this is amazing view. It's just beautiful. And then this right here is Dutch Miller Gap, which on the other side of that is the Waptis River Valley. So... You can see a lot of terrain from up here. We are heading back from that viewpoint area now. We're going back towards Tank Lake, and then we're gonna head back down to Necklace Valley. Goodbye, Tank Lakes. Now we are headed back down to Necklace Valley. Well, we've made it back to camp and it's about 4.30. So we're just gonna rest for a little bit before dinner. We took a rest, played some cards in the tent for about an hour, but now it's time to make some dinner. We got dinner, pasta noodles. They're very good. We are now playing cribbage in the tent, pretty fun. And then we're going to head to bed. Well, we had our dinner and played some cribbage. And it's about 9.30 now, so we're going to go to bed. So, see you in the morning. Good morning. We just had breakfast and now we're having some cider and it's about time to pack up camp and then hike out. So we're going to clean up and then should try and be out of here in about like an hour.
Well, we cleaned up camp and now we're hiking the eight miles out back to the East Foss River Trailhead. So, should we're leaving about 10 o'clock right now. So, might be able to get out by like three, hopefully. That's what we're trying for. out about eight miles today um but yeah this trip was amazing especially like going up to tank lakes uh that was just so beautiful up there so yeah this was a this was a really good trip and thank you so much for watching if you haven't seen my other videos please go watch those and also please subscribe thanks